All right, what's good, Flex fam? Super pumped up to be bringing you guys our first video analysis breakdown. Golly, day, we got the team up in here, and we're pumped up, man. We're pumped up. I am Cameron. What's good? You know, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let the, the rest of the team. Uh, if you don't know, owner, head coach here at Flex who had performance. This is the team of swagger licious professionals that are gonna be bringing this commentary and feedback on our first WAD Partner Challenge. My name's Lil Cam. Uh, I'm somewhat new here, but I am usually the guy that's behind the camera. So this is like the first video that I'm in front of it. Hey. Coach Maggie. Coach Brandon. This is gonna be lit. We're highlighting two athletes Tory Paul and Holly White, and man, did they really get after it. So get into the partner wall workouts so you might get selected here to get this team of pros talk junk about you if you do your fitness. No, we're just kidding. We're just here to express some love. Well, I, I know we did that whole like 30 minute run the, like Monday before, and I would, I would argue that from a conditioning standpoint, this workout, in my perspective, was much harder. Like cardiovascular wise, I think my peak heart rate probably was way higher than the 30 minute run. So It was a burn. Yeah, for sure. I think this workout was all about strategy, finding the right um, transition period, how to break it up the right way was really important in this workout. Um, me and Casey had a great, great strategy going on that I think worked really well, able to jump on and off the uh, cardio equipment, so that helped us with a lot of our transition in time and being able to get back into the wall ball, breaking that up to where we weren't um, over fatiguing and both able to keep that same pace going. I think the best, um, the key factor to this, to this workout was communication with your partner. Because, you know, there were some people that didn't have communication. They were just going, you know, full throttle ahead the whole time and they never swapped off until they had to. And then that's where you started to see some lower scores, a lot of fatigue as the workout was going on. So for me personally, the key would have been uh, communication with your partner. It's a rapid pace across the box, I love it. You know, doing a good job here, I think on the transition from the box, the goal will be, um, you know, if you can, one step over. But I know when my legs were blown up, the one step strategy went out the window quick. And, um, you know, it's just like, get over the box. I know for me, that was like really crucial, trying to communicate, make sure I was off when Brandon was coming through. We would call out the numbers, so there's no confusion right there. You can see like a second and say, hey, I'm done. So when we were going through three, four, before we got that fifth rep, we would let each other know who was coming. I think that the calories part of the workout is one that's easy to get sucked up into. So really communicate with your partner. If you're, you've got a bigger engine and you feel like you can push the capacity a little bit, you know, one thing Brandon and I decided to do was take longer sets on the rower and uh, smaller sets in the salt I just understand the fatigue demand you know, and our preferences on those. So. Honestly, we did so many wall balls in the first round. My legs were jacked up from the start. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, um, it was like a grind fest for rounds two, three, and four, for sure. You can see um, the time it takes for them to get from the second bay to the first bay. Tori's kind of got a jog on here. Holly starts making her way, you know. I've got that like aggressive trot. I will, yeah, the aggressive trot. You heard it from him, I didn't say that. <laughs> see the fatigue you know I remember like round three there was a moment of where um, you know and I've worked around around for the time like I heard Brandon give the the kind of wounded warrior noise the way you know like the pain is on full send and uh, man when he we, he get that I was, I was in the fields you know pretty deep too he go here's the whole pause it here don't take your hands off the assault box Holly don't take your hands off the assault box you want to keep yeah keep those mitts on the assault bike um, because when you put your hands on your hips and dip you're not getting that you know you're, you're not getting that hand drop and it's a it's a benefit i know what you guys are feeling here around three and i think the assault bike is a soul taker so just another point here like 30 seconds left and and instead of working they're catching their breath which i totally understand like you know it is one of those workouts but with 30 seconds left they were choosing to rest and that caused them to not 
be able to get to the last part of the workout, which is where the score was coming from. What do you feel like the best strategy is when it comes to like the rower, using the rower? The rower? Well, when I first started, I used to chop, chop it. And I realized real quick that just gets me tired and doesn't, doesn't run the fan, doesn't get the, the fan going to where the calories are pulling. So now like I'll see people chopping it and I'll see that like they're getting fatigued and I've learned quickly to get a big pull, like kind of get that extension um, and it, it gets the calories up a lot more. You're, you're, you look like you're going slow, but it's actually... Um, but, yeah, when you say chop, are you talking about like you would like move it up and down? Or, no, know, like just like quick, just oh, okay, not okay. getting like just trying to go as quick as you can instead of like kind of getting that full, right. full length pull. It was challenging for me because, um, especially with the COVID and a lot of uh, sickness going around, I had taken a bit of a break from the gym, and so coming in and my cardio not being what it used to be, it was it was tough, but it was a good one. It was easy, easy to follow. Good partner workout. Yeah, it was a good partner workout. It was brutal because I have taken some time off too. I've been here on and off, but so don't take time off. That's what we're saying. <laughs> don't take time off. <laughs> harder to get back than if you consistently stay. Just stay consistent, Freddie. I think we did get switching. We did. We worked well as partners and oh, coming up with a, uh, a strategy. We did good with that. Yes. We struggled uh, with the cardio. Yeah, we yeah. did struggle with the cardio. That's not my And jam. burpees. Burpees. Death by burpees. burpees. Yeah, they were, they were pretty tough. Burpees aren't fun for anybody, especially not in high volume either. The burpee in itself, if you compare it to like all exercises that exist, in reality really isn't a, a difficult or challenging exercise. It's just like, it's the one body weight exercise that's probably gonna like do the most, you know, damage, I guess you could say. Uh, if you were to just do push-ups or body weight squats, like that's not gonna elevate your peak heart rate the same way that a, a set of burpees is. I don't know, I kinda like burpees. I'm not, I'm not weird person that kind of likes burpees, that was definitely not the most difficult part of that workout for me, so no. I, was, I was okay with burpees. Part of the workout one, come and get some. Week one done, week two coming. <laughs>